That's the first time I've had you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> So Jed, tell us how you feel. Yeah, pretty stoked at the minute. Um, I knew it was going to be awesome, but no, I don't think anything can tell you just how epic this scene is right now.
Everybody wants just a little direction Everybody needs just a little conviction Everybody knows Everybody heals Everybody wants just a little protection Everybody needs just a little rejection Everybody knows Everybody heals camping site of the trip right here there's Jed <laughs> hey morning Jed <laughs> this is our view and just to put that into perspective here is where we're camped right out and that's the view out of the front window the view out of the side window just out here overlooking this entire valley the red valley it's called look at that incredible yeah <laughs> that sucker running mm -hmm. I don't think I'll get any more, more on though oh, okay. <laughs> enough for one more uh, two more actually more wraps Oh, my hands are still pretty cold. Mm. Mm -hmm. Face the rock, it was easier. Ugh. Let the pack take the brunt.
well we made it to the valley floor that was quite an explore um, we didn't expect any of that actually I was, didn't even knew it existed but Good. check the place out Legitimate climbing by the way. <laughs> wow, look at that. I'd probably watch this every morning of my life if I had the chance. Look at the state of it, and look at the moon, it's just... Everything's just perfect again. <laughs> This balloon, I can't even step far enough back from the van, is coming right over top. Oh, it's super thick this morning.
What do you think, Janice? It's amazing. That's <laughs> crazy. First on of you, Gregor? Yeah, one or two here. <laughs> And old man Fuji there looking over us again. <laughs> Well, this is my own personal fourth night in Turkey. Uh, first night in that hotel. Two nights at the edge of the other canyon, or the valley. And now this place is called Love Valley, or Love Canyon, I think it's called. Uh, we just bagged a little spot there, right by the edge. I believe there's balloons still going off here tomorrow, so that'll be interesting. And we managed to score some beers, as you saw Gregor hauling them back to the van. Um, did a bit of wine tasting today, it's pretty good. Uh, bought some wine and yeah, just kind of looking forward to chilling out a bit. We had a, quite a relaxing day today after yesterday's exploring. So yeah, just uh, time to put our feet up a bit. Oh, it's nice and big. Millions of visitors a year and people are cultivating whatever that is. Now Russell has to take us and <laughs> just pinch strike the van.
Hello. Well, we um, thought we'd choose campsite tonight just to see what they're like. Uh, we need a shower and stuff, so um, yeah, perfect opportunity to to take care of that business. Uh, we're going to go out for a meal tonight. We've booked a restaurant that's supposed to be pretty good. Uh, got some specialty food that we'd like to try out. Um, yeah, like today's been epic. Uh, you know, everywhere we're going, there's just places you can explore, loads of cave stuff, tons of um, geological interest snippets. So that's that's really good. You do have to be pretty conf not I wouldn't say confident climber, just confident climbing stuff to see a lot of this um, these things that we're we're looking at at the minute because um, it's it's not massively or easily accessible some of it so you have to be pretty confident at getting getting up things and what have you um but yeah and it, like everything's free so far i don't think we've paid to see anything which is also nice maybe it's just because it's off season but yeah it's it's great we just i'm just really enjoying turkey and and i mean i didn't have any 
preconceptions of what Turkey would be like and the Turkish people are like, but they're just they're probably the nicest, friendliest people that I've ever come across. Like a nation of just generally friendly people. They're just so so cool. Like don't get hassled or anything. Everyone's just so nice. So um, yeah, we'll. Uh, I'm just having a beer now and then we're going to head on out. in Gorham town this evening going out for a bite to eat so um, it's kind of nice walking around in the dark Get up early-ish this morning and check out the Open Air Museum. Um, I'm hoping we'll get an explanation of what a lot of these caves are for and how they were used. Um, so we're quite keen to find out about that because at the minute it's all just been guesswork as we've been exploring ourselves and just kind of rock climbing over stuff. So this looks um, obviously a bit more organised and hopefully we'll get some pretty useful information. Well, we got in. So uh, let's take a look around. We weren't able to take pictures of the frescoes in there, but um, you know there's a reason why, and you've got to respect that. And, um, but yeah, they were, they were really quite special, some of them. You could see they were from all different periods and things, uh, mainly from the 11th century. But yeah, we, uh, we've certainly seen a lot on this trip.
Three words or less, Janice, what do you think? Literally <laughs> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Above average. <laughs> Nectar of the desert. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Good morning. Well, there was that morning when um, you wake up and there's Brazilian Chinese tourists around the van. <laughs> morning, well. So we're in Darangiru. Louise is going to be super jealous because this is a place she's always wanted to go. So I'm pretty excited actually. Oh, look at this door up here.
gesehen. Tomorrow, Janice and Gregor are going to be dropping me off at the hotel again uh, where I'll be getting a very early morning flight home uh, the very next day um, so I guess, I guess I should tell you where we are now I'll show you where we are uh, this is an old cathedral that was carved out of the rock uh, I'll probably explore that tomorrow morning but right now there's a little area across the road where we're going to be camping by this river there's still absolutely heaps to explore around here and it's, it's real big on on caves and what people have carved out of rocks over the, the hundreds or thousands of years in the past. Minutes? There's three beers. Yeah, one each. Mm, I'd rather have white wine, please. Let's have some white wine. Our final bit of climbing today. Um, squeeze a bit in before I leave. Spent last night, as I showed earlier, at this beautiful spot. Really peaceful, and I would recommend it. There's a bit of crap lying around, sort of rubbish, which you get in these sort of places, but um, yeah, it definitely doesn't take the edge off it being a really excellent place, especially when you uh, check out all the surroundings. Pretty awesome. Huge. Well, a quick walk through town on the way back, then we're done here. And 
here we are, full circle. Just arriving back into Ankara. First bit of rain we've had, or I've had, in a week. Well, just over. Nothing too drastic. Well, another early morning, just uh, leaving the hotel now, waiting for the taxi to the airport, which is just up there. Uh, on my way to Vienna, and then home to um, South London and Campervan Culture HQ. We love that you like what we do, so please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to us either on YouTube or on our website campervanculture.com. On the website you can check out our shop where we stock all of the gear we like to use and much more. If you can't wait until our next upload, why not catch up or re-watch an old one? This one is a good one.